Step-by-step -step guide, DIY 12-volt battery installation for the BYD Dolphin. Welcome to this easy-to-follow tutorial on installing a 12-volt sodium-ion battery in your BYD Dolphin, all by yourself. Brought to you by the BYD Dolphin EV Owners Club, DEVOC. This project is designed to help you save time and money and to avoid being stranded in the middle of the night. Whether you're replacing an old battery or upgrading, we'll walk you through the entire process safely and efficiently. Let's get started. Step 1. Removing the Rear Seat Cushion The BYD Dolphin's 12-volt battery is tucked away under the rear seat, making replacement a bit tricky for first-timers. But don't worry, we'll guide you through safe seat removal with minimal risk of damage to your car's interior. Method 1. Air Pump Wedge Safest option. Gently insert an air pump wedge under the seat cushion. Slowly inflate to lift the cushion and release it from its clips. No prying needed. Method 2. Adjustable wrench, handy alternative. 1. Lift the seat slightly to locate the two metal hooks clipped into plastic sockets. 2. Slide the wrench into the hook and press downward gently. This should pop it free. Important tip. Avoid brute force. Apply steady, controlled pressure to prevent damage to the plastic sockets. Once both hooks are released, the seat cushion lifts right out. Before removing the seat cushion, slide the seat slightly back, then lift it up to locate the black seat sensor connector attached to the seat. Press and hold the clicks on the connector to release it, then gently pull to disconnect. Once the sensor is unplugged, carefully lift the seat cushion away from the seat frame. Move the cushion out of your work area to free up space and avoid obstructions while working. This is where the other end of the black seat sensor connector is located after removing the seat cushion. Step 2. Removing the metal plate cover. Once the seat cushion is removed, you'll see a metal plate cover underneath. Remove. 10 screws or bolts and 5 black clips secure the plate to the car's base. Tools needed for the task. A ratchet wrench socket set or individual sockets in 10mm, 13mm, and 14mm, a clip remover, or a flat tool to pry out the clips. Carefully unfasten all fasteners and place it in a container. Remove the middle screw or bolt at the back of the metal plate cover using a 13mm socket wrench. Then, loosen the two side screws or bolts with a 14mm socket wrench. Use a 10mm socket wrench to remove the five screws bolts securing the front metal plate cover. Use a clip remover or prying tool to detach the remaining five black clips. Carefully store all clips and screws in a container to prevent loss. Before removing the metal plate cover, ensure all screws and clips have been unfastened. There's one final step, removing the floor liner. Gently lift the floor liner by detaching both sides of the styrofoam glued to it. Take care not to damage the liner or surrounding components. Insert the clip remover along the side arch wall and apply steady pressure to pry it loose. Work slowly to avoid breaking the styrofoam. So make sure you don't damage this one. Okay, oh, okay. Right, okay. okay. This one like a uh, polystyrene foam, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Painted in black color. Yeah. Okay. So same as that side, lor. Okay. 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 All right. You can see already. Yeah, yeah you did it. Okay. This one is easy. So you use. Okay. Lift up the front cover. With the floor liner removed, the metal plate cover can now be lifted off. Caution, the edges are sharp. 
handle with care and place the cover away from your work area for safety. The 12 volt battery in the BYD Dolphin sits under the rear seat, accessible once you remove the seat cushion, metal cover, and floor liner. We'll do, all right. Okay, once you remove it, only remove this one. Step three, removing the 12 volt battery. After removing the metal plate cover, locate the base plate securing the 12 volt battery. Use a 13 millimeter wrench slash socket to remove the two screws or bolts holding it in place. Always disconnect the negative terminal first using a 10 millimeter wrench. Next, disconnect the positive terminal. Wrap the positive terminal with a non-conductive material, cloth or plastic, to prevent accidental contact with the car's metal body. After loosening the terminal fasteners, carefully disengage the battery clamps using a flat pry tool or screwdriver. Disconnect and safely tuck away the vent tube. It's unnecessary when upgrading to a sodium ion battery. Why? Traditional lead acid or AGM batteries releases hydrogen gas, requiring the vent tube to route fumes outside the car. Sodium ion batteries are sealed and gas free using non acidic sodium ion chemistry, eliminating venting needs. Slide the battery slightly inward to release it from the base plate. Carefully lift the battery out and place it in a safe, stable location. Step 4. Installation of new 12-volt sodium ion battery. Align the new 12-volt sodium ion battery on the tray or base mount. Gently slide it into its designated position. Fasten the base clamp using two 13mm bolts or screws. Ensure the battery is firmly seated and immobile. Connect the positive terminal first, tightening securely, then attach the negative terminal. Verify both connections are snug and corrosion-free. Ensure the vent tube is neatly tucked away and secured to prevent rattling noises. After tightening both terminals and before reassembling the rear seat, you may install a battery monitoring device to track your 12V sodium ion battery's performance. All right, once you've got the 12 volt base, terminal clamps and battery monitor device all secured, go ahead and tighten up all the screws and clips on that metal plate cover. Oh, and don't forget, plug in that rear seat sensor before you put the seat cushion back in place. It's done! Thank you for watching!